Well, hello Aquarius. How are you doing this fine October? Welcome to your early October reading. So this will be October 1st through the 15th, 2019. This is a love and uh, soulmate reading. So it's kind of going to be related around relationships, romantic relationships. Now, this can always pop up as something that's like a work relationship or a family relationship. I totally understand that. But if this doesn't resonate with you at all, make sure you check your other signs. Um, you can look in the description box below. There's a, a list of all the different planetary alignments and what that represents in your chart. So if you're looking for something on communication, look for Mercury. If you're looking for something on love, which is what this is based on, uh, you want to look for Venus um, or your sun sign or your, your moon rising signs, things like that. Okay. Um, as always, Please share, like, and subscribe if you enjoy the reading, and uh, we will get going. What do you say, Aquarius? I'm going to be doing something a little different. I have purchased a new deck. This is called the Ethereal Visions deck. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of got like an Art Nouveau type of feel to it. Um, and instead of the Oracle cards, I actually am going to be using the Gaelic Lenormand. Um, I've been seeing a lot of spiritual people use Lenormans recently, and I wanted to try and dip into that myself. Uh, but because I just got the deck and I don't really know the meanings of it yet, um, at the end, I'll make sure that I read from this wonderful companion guide uh, to make sure that I'm giving you guys the right go around. Um, we will confirm with the trusty Egyptian tarot. Uh, I really love this deck. I don't know why. Maybe maybe I was Egyptian in a past life. Who knows? Uh, but as usual, all the decks have been pre-shuffled, but I will continue shuffling on screen uh, with the main deck here just to see if anything pops out. All right. And spirits and guardians come down to us. Protect us from any negative influence. This is for Aquarius, beginning of October 2019. Love and soulmate reading. Guidance kind of answers to that which we see. Page of Wands. So, sorry, the light is a little rough on this guy. Um, Page of Wands. So this is um, thinking about a message of passion or a message of creativity. All right. That was all the pop for you guys, but let's get going. What do you say? First card, this is going to be you. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. And my son light here is not helping very much. Queen of Swords, I promise, in reverse. <laughs> um, so you might be in a situation where you're thinking of cutting somebody out. Um, perhaps you've been hurt you know, Queen of Swords, it's an air sign. Usually that represents Libra, but you're an air sign too, Aquarius here. So maybe something has happened and you feel a need to cut somebody um, out of your life, or maybe you need to be harsh and cut to the truth really fast. Um, usually in reverse, pardon my language, but it's usually known as the bitch card. So if any Aquarii are, uh, you know, kind of resonating with that, you probably know what I'm talking about. All right, this next card is going to be your loved one or your soulmate. Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, so there was a burden here, almost coming to the end of the burden. But um, for some reason, you know, they they either don't want to carry the load anymore or they're done. They've, um, they've just kind of decided to walk away from the situation. Um, if something comes up other card-wise for walking away, uh, we would obviously go in that route. But right now, the Ten of Wands... In reverse can either mean they don't want to carry this burden anymore or um, it's done and over with uh, either way next card this is the current energy between the two of you the fool okay so if somebody is thinking about taking a blind leap of faith maybe someone's not thinking something through um, this is more of like an instinct card like hey I'm just gonna go by my gut uh, if we're talking about love readings, usually this is, hey, I'm, I'm going to let myself fall. I'm going to do it. Okay. Next card. This is the current challenge between the two of you. All right. The world in reverse. The world in reverse. So 
the world upright would mean a slow completion of a cycle. Uh, right now it's blocked. So you aren't moving forward through your cycle the way that you should. Okay. So this next card is going to be, why is that? What is the blockage? Page of Wands in reverse. So that guy already popped up before. So upright, it's thinking about making an offer of passion or an offer of creativity, but it's blocked, meaning that you don't want to make that offer yet. So we have to see who this is really entailing. Um, did you cut someone out because you wanted to take that blind leap of faith and they didn't want to make that offer or vice versa? All right, this next card, it's going to be a past situation that's currently influencing you. Judgment, all right. Well, that's Libra, that's another area. <laughs> or sorry, it's not Libra. Um, this is usually whew, Scorpio, sorry about that. But uh, judgment card, karma card, uh, something has come up karmic connection, maybe it's a karmic soulmate, but something came up which really held a mirror to both of you guys. All right, next one. This is going to be a past influence that's currently impacting your loved one. Two of swords in reverse. So no longer in a stalemate, no longer stuck, no longer trapped. Um, yeah. Let's see what the outcome is from your point of view. King of Cups. So this is usually Scorpio. Sometimes people consider this Cancer, depending on who's reading. So King of Cups, this is a man who knows what he wants. He knows his relationship. Um, he He's all in. This is, you know, hey, I know what I want. This is, I want you. I'm willing to do anything for it. Outcome from your uh, loved one's point of view. Seven of Swords. So feeling lied to or feeling like there's some sort of something is being hidden. It's funny because they're looking at each other. I don't know if you can see that. All right, what's uh, one more for the overall? Six of Pentacles, learning how to share the load together. Okay, all right, so not necessarily bad. What I'm getting right now is that something must have happened. There was some, some sort of argument, maybe. A mirror was held to your face. You've decided that you're going to take a blind leap of faith here. However, this person has decided that they're over this burden. They no longer feel the stalemate in between, but they don't trust you yet. There's a, there's a lack of, there's a distrust going on right now. Um, so that's why this page of wands, this offer, this small offer of passion um, is stalling the completion of this cycle right now. You're still together. doesn't seem like you've broken up. Um, you know what you want. You love this person but they don't trust you. So the answer is really to learn how to work together with the Six of Pentacles, share the wealth, you know. All right, let's get some confirmation cards here. Why is this Queen of Swords? Why is Aquarius Queen of Swords here? Eight of Cups in reverse. All right, so did not want to walk away. Maybe somebody started thinking about walking away, but they're not going to walk away. All right, why is your loved one the Ten of Wands in reverse? Is this that they're done with the burden or they're done with you? What's going on? Three of Wands in reverse. No longer waiting for the ships to come in. Yeah, so they've, uh, they're thinking about <laughs> cutting off um, on you here because there's a distrust going on here. All right. They're no longer waiting for you to figure it out is what's happening. They've been in anxiety over this. There's something they don't trust about you or the situation that you guys are in. So maybe, maybe the argument revealed something about the two of you. All right, so the fool, that, that's what it revealed. All right, blind leap of faith here. Um, three cups and in the inverted usually refers to a third party. So maybe you were interested in someone else there was someone else uh, kind of in the mix. Maybe the other person was jealous. Um, it was causing a burden for them. Um, but you made a blind leap of faith, probably picking this individual over um, the third party. The world is being confirmed by the Page of Wands in 
reverse. So Page of Wands upright. This is it's a student. It's someone who likes to kind of watch <laughs> online, kind of like the creeper. Like, let's face it, that's what Facebook is for, all the social media. They've been watching you to try and see if what they thought was going on was true. And that's why this is stalled. That's probably the distrust. They think you were with someone else or they know you were with someone else. And um, from what they've seen, from what you were posting on social media. So if that's the case, you need to break it up and you need to be honest and you need to move forward here. All right. What do we got with this page of wands? Why is this page of wands in reverse? Okay. Well, that guy flipped weird. We'll take him, not the rest of them. Uh, two pentacles in reverse. Inability to make a choice. So I'm guessing there was another person here. And another. We've got the high priestess. All right. Inability to make a choice, but following the intuition, um, knowing that you have all that it takes to go forward here. So are you the high priestess or is your loved one the high priestess is the question. High priestess doesn't need anybody, just to be honest. Same as the emperor, uh, emperor and empress. Seven of swords in reverse. So this is going to be your loved one here. So your loved one sees himself as the high, um, wow. <laughs> the uh, high priestess. So that high priestess, she's got incredible intuition. So she knows something's going on. Again, judgment. What's the judgment card? Were you called out on this third party? Aquarius. It's not like you to dip into other things. Knave of Pentacles. So um, also known as the Page of Pentacles. So a slow thinking about an offer of stability, thinking about stability wanting stability. What's this two of swords over here? Temperance in reverse. Needing healing. Needing to be patient, but it's in reverse, so this is impatience. <laughs> All right, I think I know what's going on. Hang on, let's get some more confirmations here. What about this King of Cups here? King of Cups. King of Swords, so that goes with your uh, your Queen of Swords. You got a lot of air energy here. So uh, you made a just swift motion of um, cutting something out and getting to the point, and it actually caused that stalemate that we uh, we see with your your partner over here. Okay, what's this? Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is the Chariot moving forward triumphantly. Moving forward alone or with you is the question. Oh, there you go. We got the Knight of Cups in reverse. So they feel rejected. They are running away with their tail between their legs. They are upset. Yeah, and then we got the Page of Cups as well. So they made, they thought about an offer. Whatever was going on here. Let's face it, air signs can be a little too logical sometimes and can cut to the point and have a sharp tongue. There might have been a third party going on here. Um, they knew it. They felt it. It may it caused a lot of anxiety for them, a lot of pain, burden, you know, with that, that ten of wands over here. They loved you. They cared about you, but they were impatient. They're not going to wait for you anymore. They're just going to move forward with this chariot here uh, because you uh, you denied them. They feel rejected. They You chose someone else, maybe, or they feel like you chose someone else. So to confirm the Six of Pentacles, this is the funny thing. We got the Four of Wands, which is the Soulmate card, the Twin Flame card, the Ultimate Happiness and Stability card. Oh, So maybe them leaving and walking away is what made this King of Cups come out. Maybe they need that, huh? Can we confirm this, uh, this Four of Wands real quick? One card, one card, please. Oh, there we go. Queen of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse. All right, well, I think the message that's coming across here, and this is just me reading it, so if it doesn't resonate with you guys, that's all right. You can check out another uh, reading. Um, 
you guys need to split. You need to separate. You don't want to let go of them. You don't want to walk away. But something has happened and they don't trust you anymore. Because of this distrust, they have felt a burden. They have felt anxiety and they have waited for you. They waited for you. That's this three of, uh, three of wands in, in reverse here. But they're done waiting. They're done with it. Um, they don't trust you anymore. So they're moving forward on their own um, because they felt rejected. They, they're impatient. They don't want to wait for you anymore. They don't want you to figure it out. Um, you're, you're stuck in a stalemate here. You caused this discomfort here. And um, they're moving forward, okay? There is hope, though, with the Six of Pentacles that you can share the wealth, okay? Um, but what confirms that is the Queen of Wands. So there is going to be some anger. There is going to be some temper between you and your loved one. You might have to fight it out. And the Ace of Cups here is in reverse, which means it's not a new beginning. It's not a new relationship beginning. But it doesn't necessarily mean that you guys have broken up. It just means that you guys have to put some effort in here and work a little bit more um, to gain that trust back, honestly. All right. Let's go with get two of the Lenormand cards here. Um, I'm not going to, it doesn't matter if these are inverted or not because the message is clear with, there's one of them. Um, with the book, it's not like the general tarot um, or oracle cards. So they're always upright no matter how they come out. Okay. We have the ship, number three, came out first. And the moon, 32. All right. So let's find out what those mean, everybody. Can you even see that? Let's do this. There you go. So we got number three. Ship means traveling, adventure, journeys, and that matched with 32. This is actually an awesome book. So if you guys are thinking about getting a Lenormand, this is a great thing to, to fall back on. 32, the moon, means traveling in the evening, a night cruise, intuitive exploration of the consciousness, journey to a location, or a fall or winter vacation. So perhaps you need to journey to this person. Perhaps you will have a late night rendezvous. Um, or <laughs> perhaps you need to take your time, think about what's going on, make a plan to travel together, maybe, maybe reconnect with each other. Sometimes going on a vacation with a loved one can really help rekindle something. So that might be something as well, all right? That being said, Aquarius, hopefully you guys um, got something out of this reading. Hopefully it resonated with some of you. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I also do personal readings. So if you want a private reading, there's a link below. And as always, good karma donations are always accepted. That being said, don't forget to check out uh, the October uh, full moon meeting, uh, reading. Wow, I can't talk today. <laughs> uh, it'll be around October 13th. So check that out as well. And then also come back for the second half of October for another love reading. Great talking to you guys. See you soon. Deuces.